hello friends today i'm going to show you how we can um, change the service account for bulk sql servers for example if i want to change service account for uh, n number of servers and i want to restart it later okay so this is my task okay so that's the reason i have uh, divided the logic into two words first target i would like to change the service account for uh, two servers which means for two sql servers and two sql agents okay and uh, the second thing is i want to restart those two sql servers whenever you restart it obviously sql server agent will uh, re restart so here if you see here all these service accounts are i mean are running with sql user 01 now i want to change to G user 02 okay if you see here, here also you can see that the same information so here i have uh, uh, written some powershell query you got the inputs from this uh, blog this blog is very useful so highly recommend you to go through and uh, do demo some sort of demo from your end so that you will get aware however i will give the full script in the description box in the whatsapp group as well so you can join and you can uh, reproduce the same thing right now i am using windows 11 and uh, windows 10 laptop uh, OS with 2012 and 2019 SQL servers. Okay, see here I have passed the host name. If you see here, CMD host name Lenovo. So I have passed here the computer name. So the computer name slash user to that which to which user that you want to change. Here one two three. So here I have written for for each statement. So here it will list all the SQL services so not except like uh, SQL browser, SQL writer and SQL telemetry so it will not restart if you see here if SQL service is also there right SQL writer and everything so it is not going to list and why because we need only SQL server and SQL server agent we want to start it first the target is we want to um, we want to change the password here I am clearing that so from your end so one thing what I need to open you need to open the PowerShell uh, just wait PowerShell with the uh, ISC with run as administrator mode so I already opened it and pasted the code so once you got the password you need to replace your computer name so the scenario you need to mainly observe all the SQL servers are in same system so this kind of this is one demo for my home laptop so i have not yet tested so if the servers are uh, is in multiple systems i think i need to pass so since i don't have any environment so once the time permits i will test that scenario as well so as of now in one system there are multiple servers keep that in mind okay we need we are going to change the passwords for bulk sql servers in which are hosted in same machine okay that you need to remember so once you are done come you need to pass the computer name here here the user name computer name backward slash the new user for which you, this is the password okay so that's it uh, we don't no need to change anything if you want to don't want to list any uh, for example uh, if you have older versions you would like see uh, some more passwords like sql head helper like this so you need to pass the extra command parameter here for example if it is listing any other services just copy here line oh sorry copy this line here and paste here again and replace the service which you don't like okay that's it so here is press execute run the script see service account got changed successfully just open command prompt here refresh see user got changed but until unless you restart it will not going to take effective so for example i am going to one system here temp db it was restarted at 10 10 okay now now i am going to know that so this is the services and everything so the same thing i have uh, i don't want to restart any other services i want to restart only sql 
so the services which are listed with sql so just uh, write that not like command okay uh, not is equal to that services will no don't get okay so now i have passed the computer name it will going to fetch the sql services okay and it will restart so select the services are not required directly you can press y because in my organization so uh, they will ask me to restart the password and after one or two hours which downtime exceeded i mean once the business uh, non business hours started they will ask me to restart okay so that's the reason i have splitted uh, the the same uh, the logic into two two differences one is for changing one is for restarting okay so click execute see here you can see restarting lenovo on ms sql server so that was done that was done okay okay we are seeing yeah it was completed now so it was 10 10 right just refresh it go to temp d 10 database and you can see properties see you, you can see 10 35 16 mean the rest it means that whatever we have restarted the sql servers successfully so this is how you can uh, restart the sql servers for bulk sql servers for uh, i mean to say like uh, you can change the username um, for multiple servers so if i uh, so why you have logic sometimes you might be restart uh, there will be requirement we don't know right so at that time using this script we can restart the sql servers uh, um, restart the sql servers uh, uh, bulk sql servers i mean to say okay at one time no need to log in to take rdp and restart and everything so i am going to give the scripts in whatsapp group and media files so that you can log in and you can take your copy okay i hope uh, you may like this video thank you bye